Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Limit Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to move text fields with the keyboard. Now in a simulator here, I'm an example of what we're creating today. So basically you've created a nice little looking app here, you've added images, text, um, text fields and it's looking pretty nice. But then when you go to build and run in the simulator, and it's not only until you build and run and you go to click on to input text into your text field, that you notice the keyboard overlaps your text field. Now, it's a big problem because you put content above the text field and you don't really want to remove it. So a way to get around it is have the text field and the content above your text field moved and like, adjust to allow the keyboard to come in so it doesn't overlap your text field. So just like on the simulator here, so if I click on the text field, it kind of all nicely slides up and then you can input text and then when you finish using the keyboard, it returns to its original position. So basically I'm going to show you how to do that today. So already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Move In Text Field for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is add our image view for our well, for our image, for our image view. So we're just going to have a desktop here of our good old friend Geeky Lemon. Simply drag and drop him in. And then jump into our view controller, the XIB, where we're going to add our image view in. we make it nice and big so the, um, the text field has to be quite low down on the screen. So the keyboard does overlap our text field. I mean, uh, um, yeah, our text field. So if you click on our image view now and just add our image in, Geeky Lemon, make sure it's aspect fit so it's not, so it's all scaled to proportion. So, okay, so once you've done that, if I simply build and run on the simulator right now, you can clearly see, well, just to see that the um, keyboard does overlap our text field. So if we do it, and you can see it overlaps the text field and looks terrible when we can't see any of the text that we're sticking in. Right, and so what we're going to need to do now is go to Assistant Editor and we're going to create the outlet for our image view and our text field. So we'll just simply name our image view, image view, and our text field. text field. Nice and simple and easy to understand when we come to the coding. Now we need to have two actions to enable us to do this little feature. The first action will be when we begin editing on the text field it will move the objects up the screen. And the second action is when we finish um, editing it's going to dismiss the keyboard and return the objects to its original position. So we need to create two actions for our text field. So if you control click or right click and drag under our second um, bracket there, go to action, and then our first um, action will be editing did begin. So right there, and we'll name it text field move, as when the editing does begin, it's going to move our text field and our image view. And again, repeat the process. But this time, because when you select action, change the event to um, did end on exit. This will be when we dismiss key, uh, um, our keyboard. So once we've done that, we can go back to our single view there, get rid of the assistant editor, and then jump straight into our view controller .m. And then on the uh, text field move here, we'll create our your animation to move the outlets. So just like we did in our previous tutorial where we move objects, we're going to do CG rect space frame one, as we're going to move in two frames for the text field and image view. So the first one will be our image view dot frame and that very semicolon. And again repeat it, CG rect, but this time name it frame two space equals and this will be our text field dot frame and that with a semicolon. Now for frame one, which equals our image view, we're going to have the um, frame one dot origin. These will be the set coordinates from where it's going to move to. Now I'll just preset it to zero, frame one 
dot origin dot one space equals space zero. So we'll just copy that just to save a little bit of time. And I'll paste it there. But this time I change the frame here to two. So both of the frames are have preset um, coordinates to zero, both x and y. But we'll come to change them in a minute. We'll just finish with the rest of the code. So to do we do bracket UI view begin animations and in both highlighted sections we do nil and then we do bracket UI view space set animation duration and I'll do that in a simple 0.3 seconds it's gonna move our objects to its set coordinates now the reason I'm doing it so quick is because the keyboard really does like come into view really fast so do the same on our animation really quick so it all looks nice and fluid on the screen. Then we do space uh, enter sorry image view dot frame space equals space frame one and again for our text field text field dot frame space equals space frame two and then we have a semicolon and then we do bracket UI view space commit animations and that bracket. So basically what we're saying is we're creating two frames, each of them with our outlets, and then we name one of them frame one, one frame two. And then frame one is going to go to next set coordinates and then frame two is going to go to them set coordinates and it's going to happen within 0 0.3 seconds and then both our outlets equal them set frames, making them um, our outlets go to the frame coordinates. So once now we've done that, so we can go to our view controller.xib. Now if we moved our image view to the top, just so the head of our lemon there is kind of at the top. Now the coordinates for it to move there are 20 minus 39. So if you set that to 20 minus 39, and then for our text field, move that up so it's nicely there which is just under the lemon and that's 20 218 so we set that 20 218 go back to our view controller and put them back in its original position there we go so it goes to our view controller by M there so if we go to build and run Now once we press, well begin our editing on our keyboard here, so once we click it, it all moves up. So you can see now that the uh, text field needs to go a little bit higher, so if we just exit that, so put them how we preset them just, so our preset coordinates is 39 for our imagery there, and that was 218. Now, as you know, they need to go a bit higher, so if you bring the keyboard, well, our imagery here was minus 39, so if you bring that up, so our head's just about touching there, so that's minus 41, and our keyboard all the way up to 204. So we change that now to minus 41, and what was, I forgot the uh, coordinates for our keyboard. We'll bring it down a little bit. 206, there we go. 206, build and run, see if that looks okay. We need to get rid of that there. So put them in their original positions. Just keep pressing the undo until they go back into their original positions. There we go. So a little bit of messing about on my part, but it should be okay now. So again, click on build and run, and just wait for the simulator to load up. So it can get a little bit confusing and a bit annoying you trying to get the coordinates all set up pretty nicely. So I want to click into it, so it hasn't moved now. Now why is that? Have we gone back too far? Yeah, there we go. So dismiss keyboard, did end on exit, and text field move, editing did begin. So I kind of went back too far then, and it undid the, uh, or when it it's undone the text field as well. So simulator is going to load up again. We'll just exit it when it loads up. 
and stop there. Right, build now. Right, so if you click on it now, it moves up nicely. So we've got there in the end. So you know, a little bit of messing about on my my behalf there. So once we've done that, now we need to be able to dismiss the keyboard and take them back to their original positions. So exit that there. So if we click on our text field there. And we go down to return key and we make it a nice done button. Go into view control.m. Now in dismiss keyboard here we do bracket sender uh, resign first responder and there a semicolon and press enter here. Now if we just copy and paste our whole code here in our move text field and paste it in the dismiss keyboard, we can return our image view. So if you click on our image view here, it's 20, 20 the coordinates, so 20, 20, and our text field is 20, 3, 15, so 20, 3, 15. Now if we go to build and run this on the simulator, once we press it, it moves up, and then our text field have a nice done button, so once we hit that, it dismisses the keyboard and returns our outlets to their original positions. So if we just wait for this to load up now, so click into it, all moves up there to make the kizzle, um, keyboard visible and all the outlets visible, and once you press done, it turns them all to their original positions. So we finally got there in the end, so I hope this helps in your apps or projects at the moment, it's a brilliant feature to have so, it doesn't, so you can have the nice layout that you wanted and move stuff when the keyboard comes into view. So again, I hope this helps in your apps or projects at the moment. Make sure you subscribe, and if you haven't, make sure you like and favourite the video, as it really does help us out and gains us a wider audience for new, new people looking for our tutorials. Make sure you like and favourite us on Facebook and Twitter, and make sure you go check out all our apps just by simply searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. But again, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.